So, we're going to start part two of the clockingit.com examples and training. So, let's go ahead and sign up for a new account. I'm going to take you completely from the beginning. So, let's do a username of FFOP training, password, and repeat password. Name is Chris. Email will be coaching at freshfocus.info. Language is English, of course, and that is my correct time zone. So, name will be FF Training. How about FF Train? And then we're going to do FF Train lowercase. That is the direct address for you to be able to access your clockingit.com dashboard. And then we're going to click sign up. We're going to log in. and it will automatically bring you to the tutorial for clockingit.com so the first thing to do is create a project so let's create a project and let's name this FFOP training examples client is FF train that's us description is tutorials for audience that's you guys and create form this can create a private forum for people with access to this project to discuss and chat about the project. So if you create a clockingit.com account, let me know and I can add you to this forum. And then let's click create. So we've made our first project. Now we need to create a task. You can click here where it says create a task or you can also click up in the toolbar up here that says new task and let's click that new task information would be FFOP training videos tags would be tags would be training you can put any amount of tags in here that you want as long as you separate it with the comma it'll allow you to put whatever you need and there's a way you can search by tags so we'll get into that later description would be training for the wonderful readers of FFOP I don't have a comment right now and I don't have a file to attach so we're just gonna go ahead and click create you can click browse to the top menu to look at your tasks so let's go to browse and there's our task let's go ahead and click into it after you create the task not when you create it but after you create it you can go in and set the status and we're going to set the status down here to set in progress we can also change the project right now it's at FFOP training examples where it should be there's no milestones because this is our first task it's assigned to me and it's requested by the audience. Whoever requests this task should go into the requested by box. This is definitely a task. Priority, let's do urgent. Severity, normal. Time estimate, uh, it's probably going to take us about three months. So just type 3M. It'll know what that means. And now we can choose a due date. So let's choose January 31st of next year. It's not dependent on any other task because this is the only task that we have. And if you wanted to notify others other than yourself via email of the status of this task or when you update it, you could put their name and email address in here. And then let's click save. Go to overview. And this will show us our dashboard top tasks which is the 
task we just put in and it's also the newest task. Top task would be based on critical nature. Um, you can see this has got the red outline on the task. So that's what that means. It means it's a critical task. Open task, we just have the one that we created today and our project which is FFOP training examples. And then the recent activities are here. And you can see everything there. Let's go to preferences. And this is where you can set your preferences. English, Location America, Time Format. Let's go with the regular time format. But I'm, I'm not into the military time. <laughs> kind of confuses me. I mean, I can get there, but I need to count it, and that's not any good. You can set how long your day is, and we're going to set this for 12 hours. Because, you know, you have to have 12 hours off if you're a blogger. Set our days of the week to seven days because, as you know, bloggers work seven days a week. You can check whether to track time, use external clients, show avatars, send notifications, receive notifications, receive the newsletter, floating message bar. That's this green bar at the top here, and it has updates from the clocking it staff. We can also click hide, and that will go away. Enable sounds and show task type icons. You can also have a custom avatar if you want, so let's not do that right now and let's click save. and then it takes you back to your dashboard where you can see everything else that you've put on here and seeing as we just have the one task we just see the one that's going to be all for today I will come back again and provide you with more training on this please leave your comments in the comment area I'd like to know what you think of the course and if you have any ideas or suggestions please let me know thanks have a great day